Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to Attack of the B-Team. Ah, uh, haven't recorded for a little while here. You might have noticed last episode came out a little bit later than usual in terms of uh, spaces in between. But no matter, I'm here and I'm back and ready to do some more recording. So after last episode, you might have remembered I lost the ice biome, but I found it. I just had to do a little bit of looking and I did a little bit of redesigning of the portals. And also, turns out the reason it wasn't working, uh, the portals were placed like here, 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 and here. There was snow in the middle, so uh, couldn't create a portal because of that, but it's all fixed. I have a new little system where I have the dialer here because of some weird glitch that was just recently introduced to the uh, the Enhanced Portals 2 mod. I just updated my B-Team, and it looks like some things are kind of broken, including some weird lag, but I'm not getting it right now, and let's just hope it stays that way. So like I was saying, I want to make a mine. That's definitely something that I want to do. But, before we can do that, I want to make it themed, you know, I want to make it really cool and fancy and awesome. I want to make like a little Eskimo style igloo type thingy, I feel like that's not Eskimo, but I just feel racist. But, um, no, it's, <laughs> basically I want to make something, it's kind of themed like an igloo or some sort of miney cave type thing on the top. But in order to do that, I'm going to need ice, and I don't really want to go and just mine up a bunch of ice. That's going to be insanely tedious so I think now would actually be a really good time to make those block farms that I keep telling about but haven't actually done yet so let's look up actually first I realized that when I update it always turns me to cheat mode so let's make sure I'm not in cheat mode uh, options inventory yep cheat mode here we go recipe that's what I'm talking about so now if we search the uh, what do I even want I forget uh, glass no Ice. Same difference. <laughs> Ice. Yeah, we're going to want to make some of that. And I think we should be able to get it using the pulverizer uh, is the general hope uh, here. Hopefully. Um, I'm hoping. I think, really, is there no recipe for the pulverizer? Huh. Huh. I feel like that's not true. For whatever reason, I feel like there's definitely a recipe, but... Ah, it looks like I can't find one right now. Or not, not the pulverizer, but I feel like there's got to be something that's going to make ice. Maybe it just doesn't show up because it's part of the chisel mod, and that's making it not show up. But, um, hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I'm going to go do a little bit more research on that. So, you might be wondering, why are we in the witchery room? And the reason is... I just made these icy slippers. Took me a while to craft, but they are really awesome. They take a lot of uh, a lot of materials from witchery, but they ah, it's gonna be amazing. It's just gonna be so freaking cool. So, what these things do basically? It says freezes nearby water and turns lava to obsidian. So basically, if I go into some sort of like ocean or something, I should be able to actually freeze a bunch of water around me. And I know I said I didn't really want to mine it, but you know what? Whatever. That's a creeper. <laughs> let's not have him explode. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a whole lot of fun. So let's go find an ocean and freeze some water. Here we are at the ocean. Now, if we put these boots on, first of all, looking pretty nice, you know? Pretty nice looking boots right there. So if we stand... Oh. Oh, it's already doing it. Can I? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can even jump. Okay, jumping's a little bit glitchy, but this is amazing. Oh, this feels so cool. Can I sprint? Oh, I am sprinting. Oh, it's magical. Dude, this is freaking cool. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome. Okay. New new favorite shoes right here. These <laughs> These are amazing. So, this is obviously a pretty easy way to get ice here. And definitely a lot more fun than making any kind of automated machine for it. That is faux show. Wow, that's awesome. And can we just stand here and uh, mine it by the looks of it? Awesome. Oh, and if we walk forward, then it's automatically going to uh, freeze the next block. So we'll be able to have something to stand on. That is so freaking cool. That's awesome. I hope actually that this doesn't mess up the water flow. Probably will. Uh, let's Let's take these shoes off. So that we don't mess up the water flow any more than we already have. Uh, will this get fixed? Ooh, that might not be the best. I don't really feel like fixing the way the water flows. Ooh, that's going to annoy me. That's <laughs> really going to annoy me, the way this water isn't flowing right. Uh, uh, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Looks like we actually already have a pretty good amount of these uh, ice shards, but... Oh, right, those actually... Uh, these are only going to make... Not that many uh, actual pieces of ice. One thing, though, that we do need, actually, you know what? 
I'm I'm getting really sidetracked here with a bunch of other things that I've neglected to make in the past, but I really need to make a hammer, like a really, really good hammer for mining that out, because right now I don't have much, and especially if I'm going to be making a mine, I'm going to need a really nice hammer. Uh, but first, let me check, do I have one offhand? Ooh, I do have... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do that right now. I'll probably do that next episode, make a nice hammer. But for now, let's just uh, get this pretty good one out, or at least good enough, and finish mining some more of this ice. Hopefully this episode, I'm going to get to actually building the uh, the house. I think, I think I'll have enough time. Yeah, yeah, I'll have enough time for that. I, I'm excited for this. I'm going to have this thing so automated. It's going to be beautiful. But uh, I'm going to finish mining up this ice, then I will see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> Awesome, so I got a ton of this ice here. I also got a couple other things. We're probably going to need to build this, and I am definitely excited. Uh, let's dial up the mine, get in here. Now, what I'm thinking for this design, I really want to make something that's not too complicated. I don't want to, you know, overdo this here, but I do want to make something kind of cool, hopefully. Um, I guess what I'll do, I'll make a ton of the, what are they called, like the notches? Yeah, I'll make... Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'll make a ton of ice notches. And then hopefully from those, I can just do some generally cool stuff with this ice. It occurs to me, this takes a lot of... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that that might be useful, whatever. But yeah, this takes a lot of durability off of the um the sapphire saw. It's already out of durability. Or almost out of durability. Wow, but uh, let's go and try to make something here that hopefully looks kind of cool. I'm definitely not going to do too much building on camera, but let me just start with the general gist of things. So basically, what I want to do here, I kind of want to have like a cool sort of entrance type thing. It's kind of like a big dome. It's kind of what I'm going for here. I'm hoping something like this would look kind of cool. Obviously not as structured or not as uh, perfect as this one, but something a little rougher, something kind of cool. I don't know. I guess I'll just go build it. And then I'll show you guys what I think might look good in the end here. And here we go with the igloo. I actually think this looks pretty good. You know, it's not uh, the best thing in the world, but I kind of like it. Have some nice little, uh, what are those called? Stalag? Well, I guess they're just icicles. Yeah, they're just they're just icicles, but um, I think it's cool. I, I like it. So now the next step is basically I want to dig a hole in the ground to go down to a mining area, but this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I might actually want to have mines that aren't necessarily here because when you think about it you know I'm probably gonna wanna not have to move around too much like in this one area I wanna just be able to portal right to a mine where I can start mining so what I might wanna do is have kind of an area where I go down here and then down here I'm gonna have you know a lot of technology where I can put in all the items they're gonna smelt them do all that junk and then I'll have portals to where I'm actually gonna mine so, I think that's the general gist of what I'm going to do here, but uh, right now, I guess I have to figure out how I'm going to get down to the ground, because I don't really want to have a staircase. That would be kind of... Well, actually, I think I will have a staircase, and the reason for that, um, the reason that'll work is because... I'm not going to be having this at, like, Y equals 12 or anything, because, you know, this isn't going to be where the actual mines are. So I guess that'll work fine, just having a staircase down, you know, like a couple of blocks. And then down there, I'm going to have, like, hoppers picking up all the items and a bunch of other junk like that. So I guess I'll probably finish the staircase, and then I'll uh, see what I want to do after that. Okay, so I made a little bit of a staircase here. Um, there's a few slight arrows in here from a skeleton, but if we just kill this zombie, we should see... Uh, yeah, I made a little staircase. I kind of like it. You know, it's some nice, uh, different block usage here. We have some ice and then some snow on top. These are carpenter stairs, by the way. That's how you, uh, do that kind of cool effect. So, I think this is working pretty well so far. You know, we have the, uh, the nice kind of, uh, igloo type thing. And then below, we're gonna have a nice little room where we can dump off all of our items so they'll be automatically smelted. And so far, this is actually going pretty well. Um... I, I put in some vacuum hoppers here. These definitely aren't the uh, going to be the permanent spaces for them, but I think it's pretty good for now. Um, basically, the idea is, let's say, you know, I have some ores, like some 
stone, just throw it in, it'll get collected, and hopefully I'll go to a tube where they're all going to be sorted, smelted, and just a whole bunch of stuff is going to happen, so I don't have a lot of time left for this episode just in terms of recording time, but I do want to do a little bit more down here, so I think what I'll do is I'll touch up all the edges, maybe put some ice, some snow, and actually, you know what would be awesome, guys? If we had like a fossil kind of artifact thing here, stuck in ice. How cool would that be? It's like this whole room is an underground ice cave, and we have different kinds of, uh, like, statues and things in here. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna go get something and, uh, show you guys a little proof of concept type thing here. Here we go. So I have a hammer, a pallet, and some ice. And, um, I'm not sure if I've ever shown you guys this. I actually don't think I have. And if I haven't, then I should definitely show it to you now. This is the Statues mod, and it's so freaking cool. So let's say we want to do E-N-D-M-M-M. -M -M. Uh, so that's us right here. You know, you can see us. We can change our poses. We can be like, ah, no, I'm frozen in ice. Actually, you know, my face is way too happy for this. But uh, we'll, we'll maybe find a skin that we can take from online where somebody looks really frightened or something. I don't really know. But uh, let's do that. We're like a beautiful little ballerina so let's sculpt that and then if we actually click on it with a palette then what's gonna happen is boom oh it uses up the hmm oh well that huh whatever anyway so it makes a statue of us and then what we can do is ah uh, does this look good oh that looks awesome oh my god that's perfect oh that is so perfect okay so let's let's uh, mine a little bit of this out and just get the full effect here. So what we're going to have is like like this in the walls. I think this is going to look amazing. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. And we're going to have that for tons of different uh, different mobs, different animals, different people even. Uh, you guys might even be able to actually... Ooh, that'd be kind of a cool idea. What if I had some of your skins in there? If you want to um comment down below what the name of your skin is so I can put it in my little wall. That actually might be kind of cool if any of you guys want to do that. So... There's an idea, I guess. And I definitely like this. I feel like this is going to be pretty cool. You know, have some ice. Maybe use some chiseled ice. Some generally... Ooh. Yikes. Um, might want to get rid of the torches. I think they're melting the ice. Not the best thing in the world, though. Let's, uh... Let's get... What do I want here? Um... Let's see what happens if we use an ice slab. I'm actually curious what it looks like if I use just one of these. Uh... Kind of glitchy. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, not exactly the look I'm going for. But let's see what happens if I use an ice pillar. Because I'm curious if it's more or less transparent if I have it like that. Okay, so it looks like it's generally about the same thing. It doesn't look too different. Um, You know what I'm going to do, though, really, really fast? Let's make some regular ice half slabs. Yep, let's make some ice slabs. And I just want to see. Okay, so does this look any different at all um it looks i think probably more transparent i'm gonna say it looks more transparent but it also looks a lot more glitchy so we can decide what we want to use for that i might go with the slabs but uh also might not i think either way though it's gonna be pretty cool so i guess that's about the end of the episode um i think i made some pretty cool progress here you know we made this nice igloo thing which i think looks pretty sexy and then we're going to have this beautiful staircase. Uh, lots of things in the wall, different mobs, different fossils is actually a thing we have to get into. I'll have probably some dinosaurs in the wall, too. That'll be pretty awesome. And then I uh, think that'll be about it for the mine. You know, I'll have some portals going off to different mines. I'll have some smelteries and just different stuff. And then, uh, yeah. Anyway, this was the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. And subscribe for more Attack of the Beat Team coming your way almost every single day. I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.